In this video, we will talk about the rounded rectangle tool. So I'm just going to grab it from the tools panel right here. And as you can see, it doesn't have a default shortcut, but I sometimes, uh, if I'm using it a lot, uh, I simply uh, create one and then and then just uh, load uh, the shortcuts which contain uh, the shortcut for the rounded rectangle tool. So the way this tool works is if I simply click and drag, you will see that we are creating a rounded rectangle just like so. So if I just uh, press and hold down the up arrow key, you can see that we are increasing the, um, well, the radius of our rounded rectangles, uh, well, our corners, Till we till we create uh, we can even create like a pill <laughs> like this one so by pressing the up arrow key i am going to change i'm going to increase the value of the roundness of the corners and uh, if you want to like uh, switch quickly switch between uh, the corners being fully rounded or not rounded at all you can simply press either the left arrow key to make the corners sharp or the right arrow key to make the corners rounded to the max just like so and now if i just um if i just manipulate Manipulate these corners. If I now just uh, press and hold down uh, the uh, the down arrow key, you can see that I am changing. I am making uh, the corners uh, essentially a bit less rounded, just like so. Now, if I just click on the artboard, you can see that I got uh, options to change the width and the height. So maybe I'm going to enter like 200 for by 200, and of course I can manipulate the corner radius. So I'm going to go maybe with 30, and if I press OK you can see that Illustrator is creating a rounded rectangle uh, that would be a good base for like a like an icon design. And if you've seen my other tutorials on flat design, you can see uh, some, uh, some uh, well, uh, well, rounded rectangles like this. Now, beginning with Illustrator CC, we can now have the, we, we now have the option to manipulate um, the, the, the corners, the roundness of the corners, even though we already, we created, we already created um, the shape itself. Uh, in uh, pre-CC versions of Illustrator like CS6, CS5, we weren't able to, to manipulate the corners anymore. Once we created them, we were stuck with them. So this is um, this is a new feature that was introduced in Illustrator CC. And if you wanna if you wanna use it, if you wanna um, if you wanna take advantage of it, well, you need to upgrade to CC. However, in pre-CC versions, there's also an option to create uh, well to use kind of like live corners, but you need to install. Uh, install like a free script, a third-party script uh, uh, in uh, well, install it uh, in Illustrator, and you can you can take advantage of uh, like rounding any corner uh, as well. The most important thing to remember when creating the round rectangle tool is that uh, if you well, well when you are creating, you can press the up or down arrow keys to manipulate the roundness of the corners, just like so. And if you press uh, the left or the right arrows, you can see that we are making uh, the corners to be well to have no roundness and to be rounded to the max, just like so. And of course, all the other uh, all the other tricks or, or shortcuts apply um, uh, here as well. I mean, we can hold down the shift key to create a perfect square. We can hold down the alt key to create uh, this rounded rectangle from the center point, just like so. And of course, we can press and hold down the spacebar to move this rounded rectangle around just like that. So in the next video, we will talk about uh, the, uh, another tool with well, the next tool uh, in our, uh, well, this uh, tools group, which is called the ellipse tool. So if you're interested in that, just keep watching.